his friend has been one of the great joys of my life. The 2024 People's Choice Awards were brimming with entertaining moments and distinguished recognitions for some of Hollywood's leading stars. Jennifer Aniston made her way to the podium to present her close friend Adam Sandler with the People's Icon Award. However, as she began to commend him, he inadvertently attempted to ascend the stage prematurely. Adam, I'm not done. Sit down. I didn't, I know, I was announcing you. Eager to get up here. When she finally did invite him to join her on stage at the appropriate moment, he humorously began to read an acceptance speech for a completely different accolade, the people's sexiest man alive, and amusingly described his physique in detail. My abs don't have any. <laughs> My hip bones under there somewhere. My belly button lost that thing years ago. My nipples, one pointing east, the other pointing south and a third pointing at anything that would dare to look at it. Then, shifting to a more heartfelt tone, he expressed his gratitude towards his co-stars, friends, and family. He affectionately referred to his daughters as his best friends and his wife, Jackie, as his lifelong partner. I love every car ride and every kiss we've ever had. Forever and ever, my, my girl. Jennifer also received her own accolade, winning Drama TV Star of the Year for her role in The Morning Show the world to me, and I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Meanwhile, Lenny Kravitz was honored with the Music Icon Award and delivered a performance of a medley of his greatest hits. Victoria Monai presented the award to him, after which he delivered an inspiring speech about the importance of staying true to oneself. Never follow the trends, set your own pace, and recognize that the best is right here, right now, in front of you. Another memorable moment occurred when Jeremy Renner took the stage, marking his first appearance at an award show since being involved in a snowplow accident the previous year. As he took the microphone, he commented on how wonderful it felt to be back. This year's been a heck of a journey, and I'm happy uh, to be here with you, the fans. You guys are the best. Jeremy Renner presented the award for TV Performance of the Year, which was awarded to Billie Eilish for her role in Swarm. She dedicated the win to her co-star, Dominique Fishback. She taught me everything I know, um, that, that whole experience I owe to her. She deserves this more than I do. Simu Liu served as the host for the evening and kept the audience entertained with his humor, including a joke that elicited the best reaction from his Barbie co-star, America Ferreira. Oppenheimer showed us that a three-hour drama about the moral complexities of creating the atom bomb could be a massive financial success as long as it came out on the same day as Barbie. Bazinga. America Ferreira clinched the Movie Performance of the Year Award for her role in Barbie, while Rachel Zegler was honored with the Action Movie Star of the Year Award for her performance in The Hunger Games, the ballad of songbirds and snakes. For so long in this business, I didn't think I fit in, but tonight you have made me feel like I don't have to change myself to be chosen, and I appreciate you so much. Kylie Minogue dazzled the audience with a stunning performance of her smash hit, Padam Padam, while Lainey Wilson electrified the crowd by singing some of her hits, including Country's Cool Again and Heart Like a Truck. A humorous moment occurred when Sidney Sweeney and Glenn Powell took the stage, and in a nod to their movie, Anyone But You, Sidney and the audience serenaded Glenn with Natasha Bedingfield's song, Unwritten. In a delightful surprise, Natasha Bedingfield herself joined in to perform the song. The night concluded with Grey's Anatomy winning show of the year and the cast expressed their gratitude to fans for their continued love and support over the years.